I've read, Will, that you have uh, this amazing amount of music that you haven't released, but tracks with extraordinary artists like Michael Jackson and Prince and people like that. Will you ever release those tracks? Uh, no, because, you know, especially artists like Michael Jackson, where working with Michael Jackson is his critique and his two cents. So, you know, without him guiding on completing it, it's not my right to to do that. He was a friend, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. And what was the story that you brought Michael Jackson and Prince yeah. Yes. <laughs> you, you brought Michael Jackson and Prince together. Yeah, so one time we had a show in, um, in Vegas, and Michael Jackson called. Hey, what's Michael? <laughs> okay, Mike. Yeah, so I heard you guys are doing a show tonight. But yeah, we going at 9 o'clock. Oh, rats, I gotta put the kids to sleep. So I was like, well, we, I'm performing with Prince later on at 12. So anyways, Michael came to see me rock with Prince. And it was, a, it was a magnificent night to see. It was me, Chris Tucker, and then watching me, Chris Tucker, Michael Jackson, watching Prince rock on stage. Uh -huh. So to make a long story short, Prince steps off the stage and plays the bass in Michael Jackson's face. <laughs> rips the freaking bass in 10 different pieces. Da -da 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 -da. Make a longer story shorter, Michael Jackson leaves and goes home and says, leave me in the house for breakfast. So I go to his house for breakfast, knock on the door. First words he says, why was Prince playing the bass in my face? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was... What was your answer to that, though? Because he's like, No, no, Prince, he's just being nice, you know? No, Prince, he's always been a meanie. <laughs> <laughs> but bless their hearts, they were so passionate. And, um, you know, we've, we've lost a great musician. Yes, no, we really have that. And, you know, you talk about these amazing people you got to form at the White House. Did anyone turn you down? Was there anyone you couldn't get? Honestly, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, you know, uh, one, of the, one of the most uh, remarkable performances we had uh, at, at a party in the White House, he did technically turn us down the first time, and that was uh, Prince. Wow. Um, in fact, in, in the book, I think there's a picture of me dancing with Sasha on stage with the Prince playing in the background. <laughs> it was actually probably two months, three months before he passed. And so it was one of his last performances. That's incredible. Um, and he, he could not have that been. That must have been unbelievable. It, it was unbelievable. Um, and he actually performed on the keyboards with Stevie Wonder and oh, that's did some stuff. and. Uh, he, he could not have been better. Wow. Were you on holidays when, I think it was Brian Ferry invited you to do? Oh, yeah. Well, I was um, at a very nice hotel in Turks and Caicos, and Brian Ferry was also staying there, and I knew him a little bit. And Prince was there as well. Wow. This was a few years ago. And, um... <laughs> oh, ha, 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 Prince is dead, yeah. Glad you can see the funny side. And, um, and Brian said, would you like to come over and have din dinner with Prince? I was like, well, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And so we're going, yes, of course. But that was quite an awkward conversation, because Prince doesn't say much, and Brian Ferry isn't that talkative. <laughs> <laughs> So we sort of sat there, nothing much to say, and Prince doesn't ask any questions. He doesn't go, what do you do? Or, well, you're my favourite judge on Britain's Got Talent or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there's a magazine there with a picture of Florence and the Machine, and I say, oh, do you, you know, just trying to make a conversation. You know, Florence and the Machine, and they both go, no, no, I don't know her. I said, oh, you know, she just did that, that brilliant cover of that dance song. And they went, well, which dance song? Like, you know, that one, uh, you know, You Got the Love. And they went, and Prince went, I don't, I don't know, I don't know the song. But, like, you know, that song, you know. You got the love I need to see you through. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm, <laughs> and I'm singing to Prince and Brian Ferry. It's the most embarrassing moment That's of my it. life. And they're just looking at me blankly like I'm mad, like I've made up this song. It was horrible. And when Prince left, it was that amazing sense of relief. You know, it's on really, really famous, and it's sort of, you just desperately want it to end. You want to sort of say that you've met them, but you want it to be over. That was horrible, but I mean... Prince, I know that people the, that sometimes he was quiet. But I was very good friends with Prince. He was now one they, of my closest oh, wow. friends. David. Now. That's all, that's all <laughs> my one dinner no. is meaningless now. Let me tell you something. He was so funny. Mm. He was so funny. <laughs> not, not that night. Not that night. I am so sorry. Yeah, he was jokes that night. I am so you. sorry. <laughs> but he didn't crack jokes. He no. had a strange sense of humor. You know, like, we'd go somewhere and I, 
and he'd say things like, uh, I, I, I would start going for the food like I always do, and he <laughs> I would like try to get something, and he'd be very serious like this in a poly and he would go, hold my hands and sister, stay away from the buffet. <laughs> He's right. I'm stealing that. That's fine. Okay, I need to be He was so funny. <laughs> I'm so sorry you didn't get to meet him. Well, I did get That's to that. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> but where we That's went, it wasn't a buffet, it was a sit-down dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you went to an all-you-can-eat buffet with Prince. But, uh, it was actually in quite a smart hotel, but thank you, thank you for your contribution. <laughs> Beverly Knight, how did you end up getting your dream gig uh, supporting <laughs> Prince? Jeez. Um, th this sounds so, like, knobby, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he, he heard me... Um, years before the gig happened, um, he heard me sing on a TV show and um, met him backstage really briefly at another event. And that was it. I thought, my dreams have come true. I have met my idol. I can, you know, die and go to heaven. I'm very happy. Um, years later, the phone rings, and it's some number from the States. I'm ill. It's like, hello. Yes, this is Kate. I'm phoning from Prince office. I was like, hey, hey, hey. I thought it was a wind-up. Prince wants you to come to LA. And I was like, oh, OK, then, <laughs> this weekend. OK, then. So I didn't know why I was going. I didn't know anything. I packed my bags. I was off. Uh, put me in this nice hotel. It was only when I saw the great and good of Hollywood around, I realised it was the Oscars weekend. Um, I arrive, we're going in, in the hills, winding up into the hills, and this house, and I see the kind of the purple, and I'm like, OK. This is clearly where Prince resides. Let me calm myself down, let me calm myself down. Long story short, he had me there because he wanted me to sing at his Oscars party wow. um, for the wonderful people who just won Oscars that year and all his friends and that. And so there's little me from Wolverhampton singing <laughs> to the great and good, like the Cohen brothers and you know, Spike Lee was there and Chris Tucker was there. and. I got on stage with him, halfway through the gig, he leaned back and said, I want you to sing Rock Steady. And I was like, OK, I'm ready. Snatch the mic, here we go. Rock Steady, baby! And I was off. Wow. It was just wow. insane. And Stevie Wonder joined us. Oh, my By God. By the way, P.S. Oh. P.S. Yes. Stevie Wonder was there. Oh, yeah. 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 Amazing. <laughs> wow. Amazing. Were you, were you at that party, Kate Blanchett? I was. I didn't know. <laughs> who you were. Yeah, I don't know why, because I had been in hanging out in the kitchen. And oh, were you the dish pig at the Yeah, morning? I was the dish pig. <laughs> <laughs> and... Cleaning ashtrays. <laughs> <laughs> and he walked in. I didn't see him at first right. because the countertops were regular height. Hi. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I thought. <laughs> No, and I was leaving, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's an amazing man, but he's short in it's, stature, yeah. and you realise pretty quickly he didn't cook, you know. <laughs> no. He's <laughs> stirring a pot. Yeah, so I <laughs> chapped him in the kitchen, and then, you know, and, and yeah, I heard you. I didn't obviously know it was no, you, but, I yeah, can't believe you were there. It See, was amazing. That's validation for me, because sometimes I'm like, did I smoke something? <laughs> it actually happened. It happened. It happened. It happened. <laughs> Very good. Now, hello. Hello. Oh. Hi, what's your name? Lynn. Lynn, lovely. And where are you from, Lynn? Uh, sorry. Sorry. And what are you doing, sorry, Lynn? Um, I do admin for a broken company. Admin for a broken company. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Lovely. And uh, off you go with the story, Lynn. <laughs> um, Big Prince fan, <laughs> and in 2007, when he did his 21 nights, we, my husband and I went quite a few times. This one night, we got front row seats. It's fantastic, so I thought, I'll go out, buy myself a brand new dress, got a brand new black tight dress, put it on to go to the concert, realised that it needed to be... I needed to go commando, so went off to the concert, oh. sat in the front oh. row. The, oh. um, the security came round just as the show was starting and said, would I like to go up on stage when yeah. he does, when he invites his uh, guests up on stage to dance with him? Oh, well, obviously, of course I would. <laughs> so... <laughs> oh, Lynn! <laughs> <laughs> up, 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 up on stage I go, and I'm, uh, I'm 
strutting my funky stuff the best I can. <laughs> and he carried on another five minutes until the end of the song and uh, then toodled off the stage, got back to my seat with my husband and he had this strange look on his face. And I went, what? That was amazing. He went, I don't know whether to be proud or mortified. <laughs> Why? He said, I, I said, I just danced with Prince. He went, yes, but for the last five minutes, your dress split and you've been dancing in front of him with your ass hanging out. <laughs> You can walk, you can walk, Lynn. Yeah. You've, had, you've had people that we sadly missed along the way. You had the great Prince on your oh. show. Uh, I have, a, good, I have a, a great Prince story. Prince, one time Prince is coming on the show and his, his manager calls and says, hey, Prince uh, would love a ping pong to play ping pong on the show. I go, okay, <laughs> uh, we'll get a uh, ping pong table, no problem. So he comes on the show, we have the... Never brings up ping pong. Doesn't talk about it. Never brings it up. Doesn't even mention it. I go, whatever. He, cr he crushes. He's awesome. He's great. That's the end of that. And a month later, I'm at dinner, and I get a text. And I go, it says, from, hi, this is Prince's manager. Prince wants to meet you right now at a club called Spin in New York City. Uh, it's, it's a nightclub. It's a ping pong nightclub. Wow. I go, what? So I go to my friend. I go, I got to go. Prince wants to play me in ping pong. <laughs> So he goes, I go, I, he wants to meet me on 23rd and I go, I gotta go. So I get in a cab, I go to this place, I go down the steps, uh, downstairs, and I go, hi, I'm, I'm here to see, um, and the girl goes, Prince? I go, yeah. Is he? She goes, yeah, he's in this, the private room back there behind the curtain. I go, okay. So I go in, I open this curtain, and who's standing there? But Prince in a double-breasted, uh, f like crushed velvet suit, and uh, he's holding a ping pong paddle, and he goes, "You ready for this?" <laughs> and I go, uh, "Yeah, this is so surreal. There's no one else in the room, just me and Prince." So I go, uh, "Oh, I guess." I go, "He goes, Do you want to warm up?" I go, "It doesn't matter. I mean, I'm not even good at ping pong, but I'll play with you." And he's like, uh, "Oh, here we go." And so he 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 serves, and he gets the point, and he goes, "One zip." I go. Oh, we're gonna talk smack? Here we go. Let's go, Prince. Let's go. Let's play. Now, now I'm like ready to play Prince. I'm like, let's go. So I'm trying to play back. I'm not good at ping pong. Long story long, uh, he's crushing. So he's like, game point. I go, okay. And he hits this serve, and it's like, and it's one of those perfect ping pong. The things are spinning. Flames are coming off the ball, and it's coming, and it, and it hits that one corner of the ping pong table. You know that's impossible to hit back. And he hits the thing, and he goes, and he goes. I go, oh my gosh, you won, you won, you won, let me go. So I, I, I look over to pick up the ball, I come back, and uh, he's gone. <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> and I go, and I don't know him that well, so I'm like, Pr Prince? Pr and I go, is he hiding under the table? So I'm like, Pr Prince? Or is he, I, I, it was so weird, I go, and I walk out, and there's, there's like a velvet rope, and it was kind of swinging back and forth a little bit. It's almost like Batman was there or something. And then Questlove, who's our band leader here, you know, from the Roots, heard about this ping pong game and took a cab over it, and he actually saw Prince's limo uh, outside. And uh, he went up to it, and he goes, uh, wait, did you guys already play? W what happened? And Prince rolled his window down, and he goes, ask your boy. And then they just peeled <laughs> off. And then, I love that you're kind of in a ping pong basement like you're calling a dog. Just going, Prince? Prince? <laughs> Come here, Prince. Come Prince. Yeah. I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know if he was hiding or whatever. It was bizarre, bizarre. <laughs>